guess I'll show you how to do water pump today on the ISX 15 Cummins engine. All right, on a Volvo, 2013 Volvo. There's the water pump. Yeah, I can see it drip. I just seen it drip. See it right there. See, you can see it drip. See, you can see it drip right there. Not good. View. There it is. See it drip? Come right out of the wheat pole. See it there? See that? Alright guys, we are right now we're going to draining the coolant out. All removed. Let's take off the alternator. The next step we're gonna move the fan belt and the AC belt, both two belts. Right now I'm using a half inch drive long flex head uh, ratchet to move the adjuster to make move the fan belt off. Alright guys, we're going to check the uh, bearing on this, so we're going to move it around a little bit. See, off of the bearings and it's gone. See it. Let's get it off. Shot the bearing. See, that's his bearing in there. It's a little messed up. It's a wobbly, a wobbly on the side. Ooh, see how crooked it is. Oh, bearing, you can smell it. it. Smells burnt. All right, let's go get the new one. Here's a new uh, water pump. As you can see, they send you this whole thing. I wanted to explain something to you before we get this in. All right, this is how they come, the new ones. They come like this whole assembly. This is called the water pump uh, core. It's called a 
some kind of backing, water pump backing. On the older one, because this is a 2014, it had the older model, and this is a newer update. So, but sometimes you, you get a water pump, and if you pull this out, you gotta pull it out anyway, put it on. They come with this updated turbine propeller, all right? So if you have, if this is the same one you pulled out on the one before, like on the water pump, like water pump you get, you could just put this in. You don't have to put, replace this. It's up to you, but I, you don't have to. Um, just put a new seal in it. And since we got the old style and a different part number, we got to replace this whole thing. We got to replace this too. So that's why I'm putting this in now and showing you the whole procedure how to do the water pump with this. I think it's the housing, water pump housing, backing, I don't know. I can't remember what the phrase is for it. So you can see the different part numbers. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to put this back in. But when we put this back in, you got to put these these four bolts in while, while you try to insert it. Because you won't get them in because it goes right behind the vibration dampener. All right. And I already got the seal in, in the back. See the seal? All right then, so let's do this and I explain to you what you need the difference. to get the back ones if you can have a flex head ratchet I used to I mean a wrench that that works good too I used to have one of those but I can't find it right now so I'm using this it's hard to get back in there so guys you can see there's gonna be three bolts that it's hard to get to behind this vibration dampener right here. So that's why I have that snap on with the flathead. Uh, I'm using like two sections with the socket to go over it to break them. Um, this is another one, a tool you can use. I used, I just couldn't find it. It's a 13 millimeter flex head gear wrench. But uh, get those off and it's really tight in there. So that's what I use. get to on this side. These three. One, two. The one on the very bottom. Three. I have this thin wrench or you can use a thin wrench or 13 millimeter really thin so I can get back behind the dampener or you need a flex head a wrench gear wrench they make them too I have one but I couldn't find it but this worked really we put a socket with the extension on it get leverage and that's how I got it out these bolts right here Get the clean up and put the new one on. 
you guys, I'm taking that seal out. It's hard to get my hands in the way, but I'm using a seal pick. And I'm pulling this old seal out of this hole right here. You'll see when my hand moves. So yeah, I moved that seal out. Now I'm gonna clean the surface for where the gasket on the water pump go on the back of the, the water pump housing is. And clean it out with some cleaner brake clean. You don't have to have a die grinder like that. But that's what I have a, that's what I use to clean a lot of stuff. Is brake clean. Wipe it off with a rag, make sure it's nice and clean for the seal. I'm putting the new seal in now. Alright guys, I'm going to put a little bit of lube in here because it's a little bit. I know that's supposed to, but I put a little bit of this. It's just grease. It's a little light coated. be alright. Nothing's going to hurt it. I don't want it to pitch out. We clean the other surface. It's all clean up there. Alright guys, we're going to take this uh, EGR tube out and place that seal. Okay. Put new seals on that and put it back. Remember what I was telling you? So, better practice to put the seal on. Because if you put it all back together and it leaks, and you, you have to take the water pump back out. So, this is worth to replace this seal, trust me. Seals off. You use this. Let me use a screwdriver. All right, guys. I cleaned up with this. I some clean new seals. See, put a tiny bit of coolant on it, the tip of it, to put a push it back in. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's put the new one in.
right guys, pretty much got everything in. I'm just gonna add water. Just gonna put this clamp on it for this hose. Yeah, clean bottle holes. Like this. Put that on. Put this clamp on. Put this hose. That's pretty much that. And that's it, man. We'll put add water. We'll add water and I'll let you see what it's done. And put this on. Clamp. Hose clamp on. And put this hose clamp on. And put that bolt on. Looks like the job is almost done, man. If you add coolant, I'll let you see it running. All right, guys, we got everything installed. You can see the water pump, meaning all the belts. So let's add water and we'll get started. And um, I'll show you running and then that'd be it. guys the repair is finished <clears throat> all right guys the repair is finished just like and subscribe uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you guys could um, right in the middle is my dirty diesel sign just uh, subscribe there and I have a PayPal account if you want to donate or anything like that to keep this channel going because it does take a lot of work and leave comments thanks come again